I don't always get the opportunity to have a theoretical uh, discussion uh, about uh, economics or politics, so I do uh, welcome that opportunity today. I think this will be a BYO theory event, uh, and I've got uh, a couple I'd like to, uh, to bring along today, but uh, if theory is the uh, fine wine of discussion, uh, what I'd really like to start with is the beer. <laughs> because I do want to make a few uh, reflections as a senior minister and uh, as a serving politician because I think they do say a lot about the theoretical debate that's going on. Now, it's been some time since the uh, parliament rose. I think it's been something like five weeks and I think you might all recall what a calm time that was the last parliamentary sitting. There were a few events going on so I left the parliament uh, feeling refreshed if you like and I then travelled around the country and I've been to two community cabinet meetings, uh, one in South Australia at Elizabeth, one in Queensland at Bean Lee. I did a few days in uh, Wollongong, Grafton, Lismore and I've also spent a bit of time uh, in my own electorate in Brisbane. And what unites all of those places that I travelled to and through is that they are really in the first rank of communities which are affected by the global recession which is uh, washing up against our shores. And I could tell you plenty of individual stories, I could reflect on the characters that I met, that I met in, in, uh, in those travels, but I don't really intend to do that today. What I can tell you is that the punters I was talking to, the small business people and so on, those that worked in the church and the charitable sector, weren't using words like progressive politics or neoliberalism, I can tell you that. They don't tend to use that sort of language, but they did use words like, we're all in this together. That was the sort of language that I was hearing, and it didn't matter whether I was talking to uh, unionists or I was even talking to people in small business. So I don't want to go into the individual stories, uh, but what I do want to talk about is what I found about confidence out there in those areas. Confidence in our economy and indeed confidence in ourselves because I think it does say something uh, about uh, this country, it does say something about the policy res response that there was what I would call a progressive response out there on the ground in our country. Now I think I'll put it this way, uh, there's at least one economist who has recently said our stimulus packages and other policies have added up to be more than the sum of their parts. That is that all the elements put together have given our people something more than just money, something more than just the tangible building activity that's going on, whether it's at schools or whether it's in homes in terms of uh, installation uh, of uh, materials there. Something much more than the sum total of each of the individual policies we have put forward in our stimulus package. And what that something else is, is something very simple. I think it, what has occurred is that these various approaches have given people confidence that they are not alone in facing this global financial crisis, not alone in facing this global recession. That their government is with them, but it's even broader than the fact that the government is with them uh, during this period. Because I think what we have seen is that people understand that coming together is very important at a time such as this. And of course, policies, I think, have been deliberately designed to do that. Deliberately designed to engage individuals, deliberately designed to engage families, deliberately designed to engage small business and bigger business, the construction industry, school communities and so on. We did design our policies to involve everybody in this response and to do it right across the country. We wanted a very broad reach when we were designing our stimulus package to say to everybody that we're all in this together. And if you just take, for example, the construction of the school modernisation program, building the education revolution, touching every corner of the country. And I think that's been quite important because what we've done is involve every community and, and kept every community on, focused on keeping activity and jobs going. 
And I think it's pretty true to say that remarkably, we've had that response. And even more remark remarkably, uh, we have had got, we've got that response despite the fact that we've been told for many years uh, that we had become much more individualistic in this community, particularly during the Howard years. And I know uh, David has been uh, pondering uh, uh, this question. Uh, would the global recession produ uh, produce a progressive moment in our politics? Well, what I can certainly say is that in this country, it has produced a progressive response. And I think Australians have always understood, they've always known that we live in a community, not a corporation, and that we need a set of policies uh, that reflects that approach. And of course, it's a progressive response in the sense that the Australian people have very clearly supported government intervention to correct a terrible market failure. Now, having made those observations, having dispensed with the beer, let's, if you like, move on to the wine, because I do want to talk for a few moments about the theoretical uh, implications of what's been going on.